This video is going to be just a quick tip about using inertia whenever you're trying to scroll through 3D Coats tool panels, maybe your preset panels, your uh, brushes, and, and so on. As you can see, you can just click and drag to enable scrolling. It works fairly well, but sometimes you may find it to be a bit inconsistent. Uh, when you're trying to only reach maybe halfway down the tool panel, maybe not all the way, or uh, perhaps you want to go all the way to the bottom and it stops short, and it gets a little bit annoying sometimes. But I find that what you have here is 3D Coat is trying to guess exactly what it is you want. If you move your cursor outside this line, typically 3D Coat knows that you want to stop abruptly. However, if you keep your cursor inside the tool panel or the presets panel, it typically will scroll all the way from the top to the bottom, whichever direction you're trying to scroll. So if I click and flick, it scrolls all the way to the bottom. Click and flick and keep my cursor inside, it will scroll all the way to the top. Okay, so click and flick all the way to the bottom, click and flick. Same thing over here. I have quite a few presets to scroll through. Okay, so what I typically will do is I will make a diagonal angle as I flick. That typically will stop it somewhat abruptly. And sometimes it doesn't always work as well, but for the most part. Now if it does start to continue to go, you can reach further uh, into the viewport and it typically will act as a braking mechanism. Okay. And same thing here in the tool panel. You see it didn't go all the way to the bottom. I make short diagonal strokes. It typically will just go in increments. So remember, keep your cursor inside, and it usually will work fairly well. Okay, so I hope that helps, and thank you for watching.